we're going to go test out the boat for the second time today. I didn't get to go on the first one because I wasn't up yet. <laughs> I was still sleeping. But uh, you said that it was splashing up too much on the motor the first run? Yeah, I gotta, had to readjust my sensor, which you can only do outside the water. So, so he took it back uh, home today and then adjusted it during lunch. And now we're back out for round two. But this is in preparation for our yearly Hayward trip, which is coming up in a week? Just over a week. Yeah. Just, just over a week. So that's coming up fast. Gotta make the boat lake worthy. <laughs> See you on the water. Hey, Hang on. I got it. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I won't let go, I promise. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. I'm not. Oh, yeah, here we go. Go on out. like walking a dog. I assume I can get in at some point here. All right. Whoa. Oh, that's your new yeah. fancy smancy fish finder, right? Yeah. Does that mean we're going to catch more fish this year? <laughs> that does not mean that. I'm almost thinking I'd rather have it over here for sand. Which ain't no big deal. I just got to remount that and pull the wires over. Oh yeah, not a, not a big deal. Not a huge deal. I have no idea what I'd be doing there, but... <laughs> <laughs> for you, it's a snap. Yeah, don't lose your hat. <laughs> Strike two, but round three start begins. <laughs> Maybe I should say this was a foul ball. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like completely bad. It was, it was, it was better. But it was on the on the line. It was you know? better. It just wasn't in foul. <laughs> so to explain a bit of what's going on here, my dad had gotten a new fish finder for Christmas this year, and in order for it to work, you need to put a sensor on the back of the boat. Well, that sensor. Uh, and the way that it's mounted is currently kicking water up onto the motor and This being the second time out it was less since he adjusted it, but it's still not quite where it should be Copy that Well, it's that time of the week again. Time to go get weighed. This week went pretty well. And last week, because I believe I'm like a week and a half or a week overdue here. Uh, but since last weigh-in, I have been eating on track uh, this whole time. And to wrap up last month, I believe that I've lost a total of five pounds in the month of, what are we in now? In the month of May, <laughs> I lost, I think, five pounds. So here's the weigh-in from literally today. I weighed in at 376.0. Uh, 
So basically, I've lost about four to five pounds in the month of May. Really, really exciting news uh, to see that consistency again uh, with, with it being, even though it's not as much as I used to lose at once, it's still going down and that's what matters. Hoping to see the same results in June here as I continue to eat in the same way. One big thing in the summer though, is that if you if you watched some of my videos in the past, we tend to do a lot of family campouts. And we have one coming up here this next week. But along with that comes a lot of temptations in food. So, this year, I'm going to have a plan. <laughs> I am going to write down and then I went shopping already. I'm going to plan out each day as, as what I'm going to be having, maybe have a little bit of leniency in there, depending on, you know, if, if we're going to go out to eat somewhere, I can try to find something on their menu that'll fit within my diet. But I want to make sure that I have a plan going into this so I can stick with it because camping isn't just one day. I've talked about how you can take a break here and there in your week, but to make your entire week uh, surrounded with, with bad food, that's when you start to see issues arise. And so I don't want that to happen. I already saw it kind of happen on the one weekend that I had, I think two weeks ago, where I said I went camping and I caved for some cookies, right? I don't want that situation to happen again. And so I'm gonna prep it so that I have enough of my own food there and I have enough of a, a plan set out that I can follow it because when I'm tracking and when I'm keeping keeping a log of what's going on, I am far more likely to not break uh, for some of those sweets and treats that would normally tempt me. But I'm gonna go over this in next week's video or two weeks from now, it depends on how, what time we get back and how much time I have to edit. But I will go more into depth on this plan that I have uh, and I will report back to you guys and tell you how it went. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, you guys have a wonderful week. Let's get a test of the audio and see how good it is at this point. <laughs> if it's good at all, I'll be amazed if I can make out what I'm saying right now. Because I can barely hear myself. Oh, I forgot how fast this thing is when you look at